This tutorial is for intermediate blenderers out there. Hey guys, Nick here from Irrational 3D. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this abstract donut uh, animation in Blender 2.8. I actually learned this uh, stuff from Perry Cooper on the Motion Designers community. Here's the link for the tutorial. It's for Cinema 4D. Uh, so let's get to it. There's no time to waste. Here, let's going to import uh, a torus and now we're gonna let the minor radius going to be 0.3 the major segments are going to be 80 and 20 this is going to generate like this is squared um mesh all around now shade is smooth let's go to add modifier and we're gonna add a subdivision surface on the viewport we're gonna make it subdivisions uh, level two okay please place modifier and we're gonna make a new one new and we're gonna make type clouds here we're gonna make the, uh, the noise base it's gonna be a Voronoi F1 this is looking ugly right now but you're gonna to go to the modifier tab and check the strength it's going to be 0 0.40 140 and there you go now it's looking a little bit better I guess the size is going to be 0.7 you can play with this with these uh, tabs right here whatever you want the settings you want uh, the depth is going to be zero and the colors here right here it's going to be the brightness um, 1.4 and the contrast is gonna stay let's check five and here you have like this shape like it was like carving it out and let's check the color ramp in order to get uh, the best results you can you can move the color up and you're gonna get lots of results like this we're going to add another subdivision modifier in order to smooth out these edges we're gonna make this shape uh animate itself without keyframes well you're not gonna be putting keyframes on it okay let's check the texture coordinates are gonna be uh managed by an object and that object is going to be an empty and that empty i'm gonna make it a sphere so check it out if we check the sphere check the empty it's going to be the object that's managing the coordinates if you scale up or down it's going to scale up the texture now if we rotate it it's going to rotate all the texture too now if we want to animate it this uh we're going to go to here animation the animation tab check this and go to the graph editor and by selecting the the, the empty object you're going to press i location rotation keyframes and that's going to make a keyframe right at the start now we're going to select the x location press n to show all the f curves and modifiers and then go to built-in function that built-in function is going to be a cosine and the amplitude is going to be point uh five and the phase multiplier is going to be 0 0.05 that's going to give us a seamless loop when we render it and we're going to render it at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second okay when you have this it's going to start moving i'm going to, I'm going to uncheck the modifiers so you can see it because it's going to be a little bit uh, heavy on my pc but here you go now the sign is moving this novel object around the the x-axis and it's going to be seamless we're going to copy the the modifier and go to the y location and copy and paste this modifier i mean and you're done and if you check this cosine and change it for a sign it's going to be a circle there you have it now it's a seamless loop let's go to layout again stop this we're gonna this collection i'm gonna change the name it's gonna be negative because it's the carved out uh mesh and we're going to duplicate this collection and name it positive now you're going to go to the displacement modifier and check here and you want to uh, duplicate this texture and change the name to positive texture now if we change this color ramp and flip the color ramp it's going to generate the opposite mesh and that's what we want now we're going to play with the brightness in order to tighten up these edges and there you have it 
and everything is animated already everything is good to go right now you can shade it you can do whatever you want here it's going to be moving around and it's perfect okay rotate it on the x-axis select everything and rotate it now make a plane scale it up hit tab to enter edit mode select edges extrude them up there you go now select this uh the plane add a modifier add a bevel um offset it and add some segments i think six good anyways you're gonna apply shade smooth the render settings we're going to render settings we're going to check cycles we're going to check the gpu compute if you have a good gpu render 64 we don't need more it's going to take a lot if you do now let's go to output properties if you want it to be like full hd it's going to be 1920 by 1080 but I want it for Instagram. So I have a preset here, it's called EG Instagram. In case you don't know, the Instagram uh, aspect ratio is going to be 1080 by 1350, and that's it. Uh, the frame rate is going to be 60 frames per second in order to make it smooth when we imported it to the uh, editing software. But we're done here. We're going to make it, we're going to add a denoise data and go to compositing, use notes right here. Um, add a denoise. And then when we render it, it's going to add a denoise because we're rendering like low sample rates right now. Just add colors, whatever you want for the background. I'm gonna add this shape. And then for the torus itself, I'm gonna add, I don't know, like a blue, and then for the other shape, the positive torus, I'm going to add a yellow. I'm just playing around with the color right now. And there you have it. You're, you're taking it down at a camera. And there you go. I hope it's all clear. I hope you like it. See you next time.